just like finishing up my fifth grade season. Um, honestly, didn't know if I even liked football at that point, and I uh, saw that game, and that's kind of what sparked it all for me. Um, and I was trying to kind of trying to be like him one day. Him would be Melvin Gordon, and that game was the 4 away game against Nebraska when Gordon rushed for 408 yards and three quarters on the Huskers. That got Allen hooked on football, and on Saturday, the Badger freshman did his best impression of his childhood hero, who, by the way, was at the game and kept up the tradition of Wisconsin running backs running over Nebraska. All week I heard about, you know, the, the yards and touchdowns that, you know, we put up on Nebraska every year. And, um, so it, it's cool to kind of, you know, continue the tradition of doing that. He's a great football player, and that's kind of why he, he's been so successful is his, his mindset and his work, work ethic. But, you know, whenever he's running the ball, like, we get excited. He's Jim Polzine from the Wisconsin State Journal. I'm Zach Hanley, and this is the Badger Blueprint. Allen's 228 yards and three touchdowns were great, but the better part for the offense, this time they were the ones keeping Wisconsin in it. Jim, they always answered when Nebraska tied the game. Yeah, the defense has carried this team throughout the season. We did not see that on Saturday. It was really the first time where we walked away from a game saying the offense was the main reason Wisconsin won the game. Hard to believe the Badgers would be on the brink of a Big Ten West championship after their first four games of the season. Not many teams with a 1-3 and three record continue to fight back and save their season, but this group did, thanks to treating every game like an elimination game. And after seven straight wins, UW is one win away from a trip to Indy. It's just been added importance uh, after that Michigan one, you know, kind of the whole team understanding that, you know, it's now or never, you know, it's do or die, and um, that's kind of been the mindset. I'm so proud of the guys for putting ourselves in a position to play for, you know, for more than just the Axe this week, and we're playing for the West, we're playing to get in the, in the Big Ten Championship. There's more to play for, um, but every single bit of it is a huge deal. Normally when you start one and three, you're dead in the water, but they turned it around and are rolling heading into Minnesota. Yeah, this season really could have gone the other way, especially with a, a group of seniors that came into the season with high hopes. They wanted to get to a playoff. They wanted to win a Big Ten title. You start off one and three, and it could have gotten out of control. I like that they took a deep breath, paused, kind of looked ahead to say, hey, the goals are still ahead of us. Let's go get them. And one by one, they've managed to do that. The Gophers' identity on offense is simple. They run the ball. Welcome to the Big Ten West, right? But how they've done it is impressive. Minnesota has lost three running backs to injury and another to the transfer portal, and yet they're still averaging over 200 yards on the ground per game. And that has Jim Leonard's attention. They make you nervous, right? Anytime you see a team that is, is that committed to something, they have an identity, they know who they are. Um, you know you got to go beat them at what they what they do best. We got to be able to strap up and get ready to go because those guys can run. Um, those guys will go come downhill and, and they're willing to run you over. So um, you know they, they do have an identity, and I mean I, I I respect how hard those running backs run. Sounds like the Badger running backs room a little bit with the injuries, transfers, and freshmen stepping up. But this is all Minnesota can do: run the ball. Right, the word identity has been used a couple times, and that's when you know a team has stuck to its identity, was when you have injuries and you just keep plugging away, keep doing the same thing over and over again. We've seen teams all season give up on the run because Wisconsin just, you know, doesn't let it happen. I don't think Minnesota's going to do that. I think they're going to keep trying, keep plugging away, keep pounding the ball. They have a good offensive line. They can make some things happen in the play-action game. I think they're going to stick to their identity against Wisconsin. It's always nice when you're at the end of the season and your last game's your biggest one. So for us, it's, uh, it's a fun one. It's the ax. It doesn't get any better than that. What bringing home Paul Bunyan's ax would mean to the Badgers next on the Badger Group. It's a moment you dream of growing up in Wisconsin, running across the field with Paul Bunyan's axe after beating Minnesota to chop down the goalposts. And it's something that the Badgers have done a lot in recent history. 16 of the 17 meetings, UW has beat their border rival. And when it comes to this week, it's all about keeping that axe. Don't want to lose the axe. <laughs> That's like the number one thing. And no other game matters but this one. Um, this is what you work all year for, for this game, that last game of the year. And um, we just don't like each other. <laughs> There's something about like that big axe that you're playing for, that giant axe, and like that's kind of your incentive to win it. A lot more on the line than just the axe in this one, Jim. Do the Badgers keep it and head to Indy? 
I think they will. I don't know that's going to be real pretty, but I think Wisconsin wins a close game and completes this mission that really started back after that loss to Michigan in October. Jim, 2019, the Badgers played the Gophers in Minnesota and needed to win to win the West and go to Indy. They did it in a blowout. History repeats itself on Saturday. And that's it for this week's Badger Blueprint. For Jim Polzine, I'm Zach Hanley. Thanks for watching.